But anyway, anyway, boys, another week, lots of new music released this weekend. I've seen a lot of things on the gram. What you guys, how you guys thinking, feeling about the UK music scene in general before we get into the actual releases? As in currently, like right now? Currently, yeah, currently. How happy with it are you? Well, I feel like, I feel like it's always hard to judge during like this pandemic like with music because yeah. you can't see shows you don't know you can't make moves you want to do like rollouts aren't as expansive as they could be so it's a bit but overall i'm happy there's always growth like i feel like for the past four years four or five years the uk no i'm gonna say urban black scene black music scene yeah have made a steady rise it hasn't dipped at all so it hasn't gone down at all so it's always growth so i'm happy to see it yeah same Scully, it's good. It's how are you good. feeling about it I think, I think it's a good time. I think we're getting exciting collaborations coming. Fredo Nine's mm -hmm. tape coming. I think mm -hmm. the stories in the UK music scene are interesting. There's just a lot of positives, but I just want to see better quality control. Like there's there's mm -hmm. tapes coming, and I'm like enjoy it, but where's the classic? Where's the classic? Mm. Mm. I, I haven't heard a UK tape, a UK rap tape that I think is a classic. Probably still since. Nines' thing was probably classic to me. It would probably become classic. Mm. The last Nines one or the one before? The last one. Okay, but, cool. But, Cla wait, you, I don't, you don't think Heady won? Heady you might say you don't know Heady won's thing? What, Edna? I'm a big Heady fan. I think yeah. I'm a big Heady fan. Classic. Yeah. Even Music and Road, I think. Yeah, Music and Road is a classic. Music and Road is. Yeah. Music, music and Road is a classic. Yeah, I've heard I've heard this argument I'm still. I'm not running back to Edna. Like nah, I'm yeah, no, I'm not running back to Edna either, Scully. See, yeah, same. I feel we've done some nice musical stuff on Edna, man. Yeah, like definitely. It. Yeah, he did. He did. I think it's a quality album. It's really strong. Yeah. But I think the way I view Heady, I view him as up there. Like, I think he's one of the best in UK. So I think mm -hmm. maybe my standards are just too high. Like, I heard Edna, mm. I like it. I think he, the rollout was sick. Everything he did was mm. right. But I just don't know if it's a classic yet. Yeah, okay, okay. Alex, your views on the, the scene at the minute? Yeah, I'm liking the scene. I'm liking the scene. I'm loving the growth. I'm, I'm loving how people can just come in, get rich, get out. Like, it's kind of like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's becoming a get rich, get rich quick scheme. JSA, I like it. I like it. Um, yeah. It's, um, I like the groundwork cipher a lot. Yeah. When yeah. that groundwork oh, cipher. Happy about that, lot, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, happy. That was because what, the, what they did there is they just captured different generations all in one place Ooh. you know i've been wheeling that that's what i use when i'm going working now lots of talent that we're seeing coming through you know when you see the talent now in a few years yeah. these are the people that are going to be dominating the charts yeah. and stuff. so yeah. i'm proper happy with that what do you guys think money talks does it top funky friday no way um for me yes because i like money talks i didn't like funky friday I thought mm -hmm. it was yeah same same <laughs> I don't understand how it went number one. Like, honestly, I don't. Know. Same, it went number know. one because that's the first track Dave dropped in however long. That's why. And his like, fan base is crazy. Like it. Yeah, I just didn't like it at all. Like, mm. I, I didn't like the beat. I didn't really like what there was. Like, I thought the, the fact that it went number one and it's about dippers and that was cool, but like, I just mm. it wasn't good. Like, and it's mad because I don't know that many people who actually love that tune over a certain age, basically. But, like, you love the song, yeah? No, I really Money like Talks, I, yeah. I like Money Talks, I like the flipping, the video, everything about it. So for me, it's better, but I don't think it would do better in terms of do, Yeah, things. exactly. It's two different yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, I hear it's you. two different things. I really like Money Talks. Like the fact that, oh, brother, after having a big hit like Funky Friday, your next collaboration has to do something, no matter what space yeah, it's in. Yeah. So I feel like it was a big, it was a really big track. You guys listen to the Fredo album? Of yeah. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 What are we saying? What are we it. saying? I enjoyed it. It's not like, you know, it's Fredo's coming some rhythms that are big albums, yeah? And it's mm. not that. This is this is perfect for the time I've been here. I've been listening to a lot of pain rap, like <laughs> OKB and Miss Freestyles, Meet Mill Freestyles, all of this stuff. So I enjoy it. I can also understand why you've listened to it and be like, oh, this isn't what I was expecting, what I wanted to hear. Okay, okay. What about you, man? How do you feel about the Fredo tape? I can't lie, I like it still. I like it a lot. I feel like recently I've found my love again for road rap. So I feel like this okay. album came at the perfect time. And I feel like he made an album that was really solid. I like the 
I'm gonna sound so industry. I like how he was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like I like the order of the tracks. Um, I like what he was saying on there. He was just being very real, and I feel like the the, the um, production there's really good, really really good. It's mm. very sick. You can sort you can feel the sort of Dave influence as well. That intro mm -hmm. where he just go like you can, bruv. Do you know how many times I willed that before Amazing. I can even get through the whole project? Amazing. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like this album. I feel this album that Fredo like found a balance between flex and substance. So like, mm, yeah, he combined the two and was like, okay, my brothers, I've grown now, and I think that's why he went to Dave because Fredo's had a mad year, innit? Like you can tell, he's mm. lost a lot of people. Everyone has. It's been COVID for God's sake. Mm, you know mm, what I'm mm. saying? So like, I probably went to Dave to like channel that energy and say, yo, my brother, I need you. I need to get this across to the people, and I know you can do it. Look at cycle drama. So yeah, yeah, the Dave influence for me was definitely there. Fredo has grown. He has grown. No, fam, bro, like, the growth is so sick, man. It's so, so sick. And even just create, I feel like, yeah, it was a very grown album, very mature album as well. Mm -hmm. And it felt like he made this almost not caring what everyone else would think. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you need to do that. Because mm -hmm. when you like the tracks, like he can read the career doc and that, you can, mm -hmm. you know, it's Jesus. for, um, okay, this is mm -hmm. for this, you know. This mm -hmm. time he said, I'm doing what's in my heart, what I'm feeling. I'm laying down my story. And when you look back at it in his discography, it's going to be a proper, one of the pinnacle moments for him when it comes to Oh, 100%, 100%. So I think he's done sick with this one, man. Definitely. That outro shit. is immense. Mental. Outro, oh, immense. Between you, the outro and the intro. It's oh. nuts, man. It's crazy. I can't even lie. Like, what, 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 what Dave did on that on that drill track um, with Pop Smoke and the piano halfway through. What's it called? Burner on Deck. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I what like that track. Be? I like it, you know. I've, 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 you know I think everybody. you had expectations for it. Yeah, everyone wanted to be like, oh, bang the club track. Yeah, Whatever. yeah. We're not even going back to the clubs this year. So like, this is like, <laughs> useless. Like, this is like a, Waste. listen, I'm flexing, I'm happy. Like, listen, this is how I move. Like, all three of them we talk about, we found success through music and this is how we move. So it's interesting. Mm. There's only two tracks on there, yeah? One track I don't like, that's the auto-tune singing one. It's not that I, like, mm -hmm. I think it's dead. I think it's all right. I just don't, I wouldn't rush to listen to it. And then someone walk track could have been better because... Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, um, I heard been. that track and I was like, "What everyone talking about, fam? This song is good." Yeah, yeah I like better, that man. song, bro. It could have been what? better, man. It could have been better, man. It's what could have been better about it? The lyrics, the effort. Nah, man. It, I thought it's it was not... a good song, man. So do yeah. I. So do I. I don't think nothing. I feel like that. I feel like the sample. I feel like the sample is giving you like a bit that sixty percent. Yeah. <laughs> really. Yeah. You think he's giving us right, what's you got, it called? You got me, you got me doubting myself. <laughs> nah, don't doubt yourself. yourself. Is don't doubt yourself. Yeah, I like that song. No, I'm not taking it. Sample's good. Rapping's good. No, that sample's me, good. Yeah. man. I'm not too much to the beauty. It's beauty. not me, No. It's not me. And who's thinking Summer Walker and Fredo? You're never thinking that. Thank you. How does that even work? That's what's doing you. You taking the fact that it's beauty sample. No. Summer Walker and Fredo. <laughs> no, it could have been no, because it could have been disaster, and it wasn't. Yeah, exactly, it's not exactly. It's not disaster. Like, it's some of the ingredients yeah, doesn't equal the totality. Get me? Like when you, if you would tell me, you G sample some Walker Fredo, and like, that's the song I was looking forward to the most when I saw the track list. Mm -hmm. Well, I heard it, I was like, so that's your fault that you had too high expectations. Yeah, you had an expectation of that as well. Yeah, I never had any. I was like, okay, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm it. taking it however they give it to me. Exactly. I take it. You yeah. know, oh, even though, though, the mad thing is even though, though, yeah. in isolation, the song is not that great. Come on. No, nah, man, I like oh. it. I like it. We're going to have to See, agree that, to disagree. That's like, yeah. that's like when Burner Boy and Jay Huss linked up. I was so underwhelmed. What's what, play, play. Nah. Play, play. That was one um, of the most played songs on radios, fam. Yeah, so to me, music quality. <laughs> yeah. No, no. <laughs> no, but they've done something there. It weren't too bad. It weren't too bad. It weren't too bad. It was simple. It was simple. I can't remember how the track goes. So. I know on. you're in luck. Are you going to go with oh, the it, it, it was bro. just me. Oh. That song's calm. Relic. It's even the, way, the radio even the way, team. Like, the radio yeah. team. <laughs> even the way Hoss was rapping, like, you could tell us it's, it's a single. Like, he wasn't you're, all on, yeah. oh, yeah, you're all on radio. I've lost, I've lost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to bar someone's heads off. We're doing catchy lines. You like, know, that's lost, why I had to come with the desert eagle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's an easy bro, like, it's man. A, yeah, it's calm. I'm on some radio brothers. I've lost. Radio's different. You know, radio is just different. Yeah, you see? 
see? It's you a see? good song, still. Hey, Rob, what's song? next on the agenda? What's next on the agenda? I've lost Oh, I don't even know what's on the agenda. How do we feel about this Fredo and Nines? Did we? Is it something you thought that could happen? I'm, I'm loving the fact that we're going to get a collaborative project. Like, I feel I want to see more. Fredo and Nines? Stuff. What are you talking about? Yeah. They're having a project. Yeah, yeah. They got a mixtape, apparently. Yeah. Fredo and Nines? Yes. <laughs> No, I don't believe you, like You're like Gaston. That's bruv. <laughs> Let me find the link. Let me try no, and find Gaston, the link. Like I said it to you. What? Fredo and Nines. <laughs> Fredo said it. And the reason why it's funny is, yeah, and I'll probably get in trouble for saying this, yeah, but we know it's yeah. just a big fuck you to see biz. Like, that's essentially what it is. Oh. oh. No I comment, no comment. That, you know? No comment, yeah, no comment. Yeah, yeah. Relax and no comment. <laughs> and that's why, that's why I'm starting to rate UK rap, yeah. Nobody used to link up and do these movies. We always do yes. stuff like that. Like, see, US mm. rap has this whole, like, law and, like, story, like, it's like Game of Thrones, bro. Like, people are linking up to be this, that, and da 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 And, like, it wasn't really like that in the UK, but it's like to get things like that. Like, I think the tape is funny. It's interesting. I hope they work well together. I, I would not... I wanna... Yeah, he said, he said, you know, uh, you... Nine's mixtape this summer. Nice. And Nine's, nine, nine's posted something up as well. I didn't know if they were telling the truth or not, but I think no, it'll be good. No. And I think it'll be a sick blend of... That smooth rap with the harsh that Fredo is coming in with as well. You know what I mean? Fredo says it as it is. Nines will make it sound so sweet, fam. Nines will make you feel like, oh, the life you're living, I want to live that as well. Even though what he's saying is just so mad. But I wonder how it's going to sort of come together well, between out, the two of them. Ooh. To be honest, I'm not, lie, I'm not the biggest I'm not the biggest Nines fan, in it? So man's not that excited about it. But I'm excited. I'm always excited to hear more Fredo. Especially, listen, since it's Daily Duffy, I know what Fredo's on it, so I'm always excited. Yeah, Fredo can rap, though. Fredo can actually rap, yeah, so yeah. I'm not scared of that. I'm not scared of anything that he brings mm-hmm. in. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see the pockets Nines takes Fredo into, you know, because Nines got a different musicality to him. And I think they can both hit another level, and I think mm-hmm. I hope that they inspire each other. Trust me. And I, I want Fredo to inspire Nines to flex more. Because Nines is doing very well financially, and we know about it, but we don't know about it. Um, he accepted his it. mobile award in like Barbados or something. Mama's there with a mojito, <laughs> like yeah. yeah man. I don't know, man. Won the thing. Thank you. He said he has a crib next to AJ Tracy, living in the hills, blood. That we don't know that kind of thing unless you listen. <laughs> like, we need to know more. We want to know more. Yeah, no. Nah, he, he has to show us a little bit, innit? He does have to show Gambia us. Right now. He's in Gambia horse riding. Yeah, that's what. Oh yeah, I saw that video. Nines, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I saw that video. It's funny still. Gambia. Like, why is he in Gambia? Like, is he going to visit us? Like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe him and Pastor Lou got a video coming. Who knows? Bro, hey, who knows? The hey, Pastor Lou's killing it. Pastor Lou's killing Yo. it this year. Honorary shout I, out. Man. I have a question, though. I have a question, though, because because we're all like, you lot have a hand in the industry, yeah? What's your views, so you. opinions? Huh? So do you. Anyways. Radio. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, no, I'm joking. Um, jokes aside, though, what's your views on, like, industry plants? And do you think... <laughs> <laughs> oh, just like that. Just like that. I'm getting I a drink. Think, I don't think... <laughs> <laughs> I defo don't think he's an industry plant. Okay. Because okay. if you if you listen if you go do your research, he's been doing music yeah. for a long time, and it's just yeah. pop for him. And yeah. he's one of the most diverse when it comes to making music at the moment. So yeah. you can put him in different. This is why he's getting all of these different looks. Like he's got a song energy with Mahalia that I don't even know what bracket to put that in. And then you got Frontline, true. you know. Yeah, so true. I don't think he should be a victim of his diverse range. Thank you. And the sort of looks that he's sort of getting. Like, the looks he's getting, not a lot of people will get them, but I think it's because of him. And he doesn't have a criminal record as well. Like, little things like this matter, so he can go to America and do Jimmy Fallon because he doesn't have to worry about police on his back. I think these little things... I think people um, villainize artists that the label does their job for. So a label's supposed to do this mm. with artists. Like, they're supposed to take them to America. They're supposed to, but because it doesn't happen, and when it's finally happening, people say, oh, yeah, nah, man. In the ship, like, he, he can't be that big. He, we don't even support him as if we're the only yeah. people in England. That's, that's exactly yeah, I'm just, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly so I'm just like, ah, we're three percent. Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm, trust mm-hmm. me, yeah. It depends on your definition of industry plan. I don't think he's an industry plan. I think he's an artist 
that started doing music. The label caught mm-hmm. on to him very early. I thought, oh, we very can position him in certain places. Like we're saying, yeah. they did their job. So Dude. I'll be honest here. Yeah, obviously, I've worked in the industry for a bit now. You know, the first time I heard of Pass Saloon was like 2018, I think, 2019. Yeah. Something like mm. that, yeah. Radio pluggers came to me and they were like, this guy's going to be the guy. Like, radio mm. So, yes, he got a push from early, but they were aware of him and they are like, we need to start building this product. And you have to think about how many artists that we hear of from plugs and things like that. They say the same thing, but it doesn't always tick over. The thing with Go that way, yeah. Because his mm. music was good and people connected to it, it's yeah. building steam. It's I think the first, the first part of I listened to was on Jules's tape. That steps in the, yes. what was the song? Yes. Yeah, do you remember? That was the That's first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On that yeah. tape. On that tape. Yeah. I think Miss Banks is on that record as well. Oh, right? Miss Banks, Kid of Cuds. No, no, no. Miss Banks, Kid of Cuds, and Parcel I, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, my left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's a real, right. right, yeah. yeah it's yeah, a real yeah, disservice. Yeah. And to be honest, when I heard that, I didn't know he was capable of what he's doing now. You know? Yeah. So, and I think the thing is, when we look at rappers, yeah, we almost don't take them in unless we see their struggle. Like, mm-hmm. unless we know they, like, we saw them when they were. Unless no they have one, a trap story. Unless they have an yeah, edge. Yeah, you know what I mean? We, we don't take them in. So I feel like, yeah, man, Lee Parsalu, he's doing legendary stuff. Yeah, uh, man, same. Stuff. That's how I and thought. the music's thumping as well, man. So <laughs> I'll yeah. say my opinion real quick. Um, After you run away, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like when it comes to industry plants, there are industry plants, but I also feel like we cuss when they, we cuss when there's no artist development, but when there is artist development, we don't like yeah. it. So yeah. it's really? like it's like yeah. So it's he. Um, he's. The, I don't think he's the industry plant. I just feel he was developed in it. I know industry plant. Mm-hmm. I've seen it. It's disgusting. And but you can tell, he's you can always tell, like, it's so <laughs> bait as well, like, it's, it's in your face. Like, people would say, Pastor Lou's in your face because he's doing this, he's doing that. But no, look, look at his numbers. He's doing numbers, you know. He's signed to a major mm-hmm. label. He's doing what, they're doing their job and he's doing his job. It's simple as yeah, that. Yeah, man. That's how, you, that's how you want your deal to sort of go, sort of thing. So, mm-hmm. exactly. big yeah, up yeah, Pastor yeah. Lou, big Chip up yeah, Pa, Chip Tape. Chip, Chip Tape, I interviewed him this week. Has oh, everyone listened to it? I, I thought it was good musically, you know. It's long, it's long, but I've listened to it, and what I've listened to so far, I do enjoy it. Yeah, I think from, I think it's good. I think it's a very good project, like different sort of styles and flavors. Depends how you like your music. I love genre blending and showing your skills and influences from different parts of the world and stuff. And I think he did that. This I think people thing. won't take it in because of the hype surrounding him and the clashes if that makes sense. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But then I always got to ask myself, the more people listen to it because of the hype or the less mm-hmm. people listen to it because of the hype? So I feel more. I, I, think, I think it's really cool to take because there is a lot like, there's versatility, but that means there's no cohesiveness. But at the same you time, so? I don't mind that because- yeah, there's it's, no not cohesive it's not cohesive at all. It's not cohesive at all. Yeah, but you can pick and choose chat. I, I liked it more than yeah. I thought it would. Because I think Chip needs to give us more classic albums. I think he's a top two MC in the country. My biggest problem with him is he doesn't let his music speak for himself. He's number one. There always seems to be Get, the hard Getz. I think Getz is there still. Getz. I think it's Getz. Yeah. Getz is Getz. the best MC in the UK right now. I so think he's somebody who, when I was growing up, Getz was not my top, top MC. But watching his journey and his improvement, he's the only MC who is consistently growing from day mm-hmm. one to today. He, I've watched him get better every single time he drops a song. That's crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's I hear right. that. I hear that. <clears throat> so you're saying you wish Chip let the music speak for itself a little bit more? Yeah, man. Like, we don't need to to have Wahala. Like, there's good yeah, songs in the tune. Like, you got no, you don't know. You actually don't. Like, if you <laughs> no, do, the music <laughs> will be good. Like, man, Scully, Scully, you... Scully. Because man came to my house in the Euros. Listen, <laughs> that's <Wahala. laughs> But you don't need Wahala. You actually don't. I feel like Chip needs better decision making, like around him. Like he needs better in his team. They need to pick better beats, in my opinion. Yes, the like, beats um, are horrible. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beat selection for me is off. I feel like Chip has always had an issue with beats, yeah, but he won't admit it. In it but Chip, we can help. But like, I don't, I it's just that. That's the thing. I agree, but on this tape, I like the beats. Some of the stuff. Really? Like, I'm, I'm so baffled. I thought, I thought mm. we were going to come in here and you lot would love this tape, bruv. Mm. I don't love it. I don't love it. I don't love it. I think the tape's media. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. 
I feel like it starts yeah, really it. well and it ends really well, but there's a bit in the middle where it's just a bit. Mm. Let's let me let me read the chat. Yeah, now you need to listen to all of it. Like, I was disappointed with the with a heady one track. I was disappointed with Grow Flex Bugsy Malone. I was disappointed with Hundred K with Most Stack. No, I was disappointed. Hundred no, no. K was good. 100K was I was good. disappointed. Most Most Stack did dirt on that video. He did. I, I will give but my think... reasons. Anyway, go on. Um, no, you know what? Yeah, wait. From I, mean, I, I think the tape was more than music as well. I think it was more than music as well. Even in the features that he did, if that makes sense, there was a mm. sort of a no, story. No, no, no. There was a reasoning between before like the heady feature and the most that feature. I thought it was decent music. Listen, also, Chip should be banned for using auto tune. He should never be allowed to use auto tune again. <laughs> no, Every it wasn't bad. No, it, it was bad. It was bad. It was it bad. bad. It was bad. Well, skeletons. Skeletons. It's, skeletons. Horrible. Skeleton. Was it? No, no, oh, no. Listen, Alex, 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 <laughs> listen, 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 bro, listen, bro. I am not respecting the song that starts with how many men have you slept with? I'm not, listen, from that I was turned <laughs> off. That's the first line. That's the first, you're singing to a girl, how much men have you slept with? Then I respect you if you did it. I was, I felt sick. I was like, no, nah, I, I can't listen to you this. Know what? You and you and you. But it's being honest. Nah, man, don't nah, man. Chip is man. 31, bro. You can't be asking girls yeah. their body count. You can't do that. You can't do that. He's right, he's right. He, he's right, sang, right, it. He sang it as well. <laughs> I felt sick, bro. I said, no. Nah. Right, come on, man. And then, but yeah. Heady one, heady one feature. It's better than what he did. Um, he did, um, I got to protect my heart. I got to protect my heart. Oh, no, I like that song. Bad boy, you ain't seen that to go off. You ain't seen that go off at home grown live. I like it, man. <laughs> yeah, no, I like that one still. <laughs> one lyric in there, yeah. He goes, I've got to be careful because they don't make condoms for your heart. I said, nah, man. That was know. notes. That was chip. That was notes. Bro, I didn't hear that. I heard the clean version. That was notes. So I'm that, sorry. Was notes. That, was, that was notes. You heard the radio I heard, version. I heard the radio edit. It's all radio like that. <laughs> <laughs> that Hershey's track with um, DBE is horrible as well. Yeah, it's not good. He needs to separate himself from DBE. People say it goes off. Nah, off. Mavado, DBE, Mavado was um, lazy, DBE bro. fans think everything they do go off. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> they can read a shopping list and everything go off. Apple yeah. juice with this juice in the juice. In the... <laughs> I really like, on one. No, no, it's true. <laughs> I like DBE as well, but I like selective yeah. tracks from them. But them man, part of 29 track album, the man are telling me they all bang. I can't, I can't listen to your opinion. I feel like Movado's feature was weak as well because you come from any every girl to this. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chip spun that though. Chip did well, but nah, it wasn't. It wasn't good. Overall, so- as a mixtape, as a project, it was. Uh, Chip doesn't really give us memorable projects apart from League of My Own Two, Transition, and them boy. Yeah, uh, nah, so like, you just named three. You just named three. Nah, I'm not saying London boy. I'm saying two in it. Like I did, I didn't like League of My Own Two. I can't lie. I did. I, I did like 10-10. 10-10 was right. Mm. It's so think, weird. It's so interesting here. Yeah, I think Chip is an elite MC, yeah, but mm-hmm. I need yeah. a classic. I need a classic project from him. Classic mm-hmm. album. Yeah. That's it. Okay. That's the only His closest thing to a classic is transition. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I definitely mm-hmm. agree. That's when he went pop. Yeah. Pop. But don't you think it's funny now, yeah? He took so much stick for that, but people will celebrate being pop now. A hundred percent, you're popular. Well, that's but why Chip is angry. angry. Man, the, the scene has changed. The scene is so changed, different. Isn't it? That's why Chip is like, angry at everyone. Back in the day, the only type of black music really was grime. So if you wasn't doing grime and you did something a bit outside of it, oh, you've gone commercial. You've gone pop. Mm. Like you know, what I'm saying now. The scene has grown as a whole. There's bare money to be made. You know what I'm saying? So to do a track with like, let's say for example, if Real Aura did a track with Unknown T or for or other way around, it'd be like, okay, we'll be man, got the bag. We'll be you got the bag. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, I can't say that. But I'm a reason yeah, doing yeah, just, you, like, you, know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, it's... oh yeah, no, but I, I, I believe you because she's done one with Tia Wayne, she's done one with Digger, she exactly. must be doing one with bare people. Yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah. So it's like, it's <laughs> just, yeah. Exactly, it's just things of. You know what I'm it's saying? Different it's different now. It's very it's different now. Scene and there's more bridges. So it's, you can't... Think, yeah, yeah, it's how music evolved past grime. I think exactly. people, when grime was popping, people were clinging to grime. And even now, mm-hmm. if you're a grime MC and you make something outside of grime, everyone's like, I'm going to do something that's not grime. But like, mm-hmm. the music has gone a little bit beyond that now. Yeah. Like, yeah. In the, in the, in perfect example. Way, perfect example being the content Gets has given us. 
you know. Mozambique yeah. is still amazing. amazing. Mozambique. You see Mozambique? Great. You see Mozambique? What can we, can we talk about Gets and T, Dines Alphabet? Because I don't know if anyone's oh, heard Oh, you see? Yeah, yeah. Brother, Gets says, my patience wears thin, but I wear a large. Is that my brother T.E. Ness, man? He's cold. Yeah, big up T.E., man. Big up T.E., man. One of the most underappreciated. Yeah. You know, I've, I've, I always struggle with underrated, underappreciated. I just think underexposed. And it depends to who. Because if you show people him, no one will say that he's not good. You know? That's why, that's why I don't say underrated. I think the underrated word is overused, though. Yeah. I, think it's I, I just say underexposed, man. For real, so. Yeah, now a couple projects that have come out this week which is good what about you guys tracks of the um your track of the week what's the one you've been banging hey i can't lie you know what yeah shout out to nine recent releases nine oh it's not recent oh i can't even talk how how long what was you gonna say and the end of november it came out but nine bills oh, oh. what you is it nine bills put me onto some artist called blast from la and I've been banging it up. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah I've, seen, I've seen everyone talk about it still no, i can't lie rob bruce Getting your blast is you know me, I'm car. a UK guy. I'm a UK guy, so you don't have to twang me. I, no, no, I hear you. Get in your car and just drive with that album on the back. You'll love it. Really? Bro, I'm a UK really? guy. No, that brother is special. Black it's it's cold. Cold. Down. Scully, can you co-sign this? I haven't taken him in yet. I've seen one song. Okay. He's like, really, really, oh, really good. He's really good. He's really, really good. If you like Odeo, you like that man, you're going to like melodies from my man. Yeah. All right, then, cool. Yeah. All right, so give me your tracks then. So uh, you, you give me a whole project. You're saying blast out November. Track from this week. Go through your phone, see what you've downloaded. It's on track this week. What's yeah. Play? yeah, from the hey, past week or my, two. Let me go from my playlist. Let me reload the playlist. <laughs> Quit plugging TNT, you know. <laughs> yeah, plug it all, fam. Plug it all. Uh, this all right, cool. Oh, I'll go, go, go. Okay, go on. Go, go on, really. Go on, really. Go on. No, you go. You go. Let's go. Cool. Right, well, I'll go Millions Badness. I think okay. that for me. Yeah, yeah, millions. You don't miss, man. You don't miss, man. So, yeah, it's good, but do you know what it is, yeah? And I'm going to be the first person to say this. I think yeah. it's same old from millions, but, but I think that's because I know millions has another gear, yeah? Mm -hmm. And I'll also be that 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 guy, that industry guy, yeah? That truly played at the end of the badness video. With Lord, I've heard that. I've been listening to that tune for two, three months. It's my favourite song. That, that's okay. what I want to hear from me. Industry Scully. Cool. Industry Scully, bruv. You know, we don't Scully, all get Scully. that. We all don't, we don't get that plug, you know. Let me come say <laughs> what Scully just said. TSB played that to me on Insta Live. Yeah. Oh, look at the name <laughs> drop. Hey, <laughs> just in the name. Let me, you know, whoa. Oof, I'll pick it up for you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm always saying, are you going to the table? And now, Scully, Scully's right. That is Millions' best tune to date. Bro. Bad and hates DC. It is Millions' best tune. I need oh, to hear that it. That tune is going to chart. That tune is going to chart. Yeah, yeah, Someone yeah. And not ask. Someone send the link. Someone send the link. Yeah, yeah, different. Yeah, yeah, okay. different, 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 different. So, so when I heard Badness, yeah, it was a bit of a thing. I heard, I heard that tune, and I had another tune he has coming, and I was a bit like, yeah. I know okay. you've got another level you can hit in it. So this yeah, is, yeah. This is what you've been doing, and it's cool. It was a warm up. Yeah, 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 yeah. The next stuff is. <laughs> All right, so next phase. So, Alex, you're still saying badness, though? Yeah, I'm going to go badness because Miller's in my goal right now and he can do no wrong. So, And it's just another addition to his great catalogue already. Yeah, man. Bad All right, Scully, talk to me. Song of the mm. week or from the past two weeks? Who or honorary mentions? Who should I plug right now? Ah, oh, there's a ute, yeah, called Zayit, yeah? And it's a song called Shot. Oh, Zayit. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. From Bradford, the ute from Bradford. And he's, like, doing that... The Afro beats, the UK Afro beats sound that's hard right now. I don't want to say Afro swing, it's not Afro swing. Mm -mm. But yeah, he's doing like a UK Afro beats thing. The instrumental is like, it almost sounds like gospel, but the way he comes in on it is like, I'll be honest, like, you could compare him to Half Step Half the Lou or some, one of those guys. Mm -hmm. But you can also tell he's his own man. Kong leads you, like I said, from Bradford. Obviously, his name's Aye. So yeah, hard shot. That's the one. Shotty. Man. All right then, cool. Relic, talk to me. You said I blast. I, hope, I was hoping you you smooth us out with some R and B, man. He's <laughs> R and B. Blast is R and B. But oh, is um, it R and B? Is it R and B? Yeah. Yeah, it's like R and B. Oh, in sorry, I'm his rapper. He's no, he okay, is. He raps, okay, but okay. he's just in between thing. But I can. Mm, there's 
there's one I can pick. You know, what I'm gonna pick it. Juice Menace. I really like Juice Menace. She's a, a rapper okay. from Wales. Really, really dope. She dropped a um a video for her song No Chaser. And I feel like more people need to pay attention to her because she's really rapping. She's really okay. rapping. So uh yeah, I like I like I like Juice Menace a lot. So yeah, no chaser. Go watch her video, go follow her. Yeah. She's good, man. She's been called for a minute, man. I'm putting in the Definitely. work as well. Definitely. All right. What can I plug? I'd like to give honorary mention to T Way, because his fifth chapter EP. Come on, oh come my days. Oh T-way. my days. T Way. T Way. We can talk about honorary it? mention. But yeah, we can talk about it if you want to. What are you saying, Scully? I was upset, yeah, because I'm in Norwood Junction right now, yeah, live on the block. There's so many Mollies <laughs> And he used the Mollies that was in, in flipping Shoreditch, the new one. Oh, oh. Stormzy did that as well with the um, Big For Your Boot video. He did pick one in Charlton. I was like, why? Yeah, maybe because it's not so hot. Yeah, yeah friends will come and lock it off. Hey, listen, yeah. <laughs> no one judging Mollies is not safe, though. So Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Now, but you see, you see, T-Way, yeah, he's not just a drill rapper. I don't, I think there's a lot of drill rappers. There's a few drill rappers that do drill because it's like an easy way in. But I feel like they're way more, they're way more like to get, they could do other things like T-Way. Mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. rap tune, the intro, come on, man. If that was someone else, people would be like, it, oh my God, oh my God. Yeah. Like, it was quality, quality music. For us. Yeah, I was a bit, like, I was a bit surprised. I thought I would hear more people talking about it. Like, I don't know. Why are more people are not talking about it? If that makes sense, Cause I think because he's a drill rapper. Because he's a drill rapper, in my opinion. And he so? hasn't hit. He hasn't hit that that level yet. If you know what I mean, mm, as in like, yeah. not in a bad way, but there's like a paid level. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. I, I yeah, haven't no, I hear that. Man, so. yeah, you haven't, no, you haven't listened to it really. Listen to it really. It's like five tunes. It's not long. Mm. Um, one track that I've been banging. Kill me, maybe it might be the radio in me, but Camille and Simba, Ayo, they made Do us a what? lovely song there, man. I can't I've even know. It is the radio it. in you, but it is you a good heard song. It. Yeah, it's, def- it's definitely the radio in me, but it's I appreciate it for where it's I love Camille. I love Camille. Really... Yeah, Camille's so yeah, talented, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, That's it. Amazing. What else? We need to try to like, Alaka Harley just dropped her EP as well. Yeah. Yes. Intro. What she's doing with the, with the range of her music as well, like, I don't want it to go over people's heads. Like people need to understand their levels and talents as well, man. She's, yeah. she's, very, she's very, very talented. So. She's very talented. Yeah. What did you say, Honorable... Sally? I'm hearing great stuff about that EP. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Listen to it. Go and check it out, man. Go she she got out. Tony Matterhorn on there as well, blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You're a legend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's mad. So there's a few. There's a few. There's a few tunes there, man. Yeah. I guess also... we're all. We're all. Yeah, go on. Uh, Big Swings dropped uh, like Munaye Part Two with uh, Jay Leon and Reels. That tune goes off. I love that tune, sir. So. What Reels? Oh, yeah. Reels online? That one? I don't know if it's that one, but oh. it's a Reels. But yeah, it's that. I love that tune. Still, the hook's really infectious. Mm. So, mm. all right, say no more. I'm gonna post up all of the links so people can check it out. Check out all the songs in that. Um, I had one from a you called J Billy. Check this out. <gasps> and let me know what you think. It's Good on the side. I liked it, man. Scully you know gave me a sideways look. I thought it was sick. No, 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 I heard it. I was thinking Jay Billy. I like that name. Yeah. <laughs> Go check this song, yeah? It sounded so crisp, man. It it's so sick. funny you Jay say Billy that, Rob. I was with a girl yesterday and she was saying, she played that song. Like, on her phone. No way. Oh, oh, yeah, in it? Alex. Well, in, in, the, in the Panka Rankings, what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> You you ain't frozen, bruv. You ain't frozen. You ain't frozen, my guy. Yeah, you ain't frozen. Yeah, frozen. Oh, okay, Alex. <laughs> so this was recorded on 24th of November, 2020. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then cool. Van them. It's been a nice one. The launch TNT. Come on. Let us know where we can find you guys, man. Next time, I want you guys to put your acts in your name. Yeah, I was wow. thinking that. You're smart for that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a radio in him. It's a radio in him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> but obviously, first one in it, so it's it's a, it's a grower. So mm-hmm. you know, we just do this. Hopefully, soon we'll be going live as well. People can get involved and all of that sort of jazz. But TNT yeah. tracks and tactics. You know, I'm very excited saying? for this. You know, I'm very excited for this. I love talking about football and the fact that we get mm-hmm. to talk about music and football. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a lot music and cool. I love it. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be music a good one, man. Music. And seeing. I know, I know I've got the right guys because the way you lot were going for it today, <laughs> episode one. It's going to be very I'm interesting. This is how you're starting at. Rob is smart to do it after the Man United Arsenal game still. Of course. The energy is <laughs> high. You know, I would have loved if we did something before. If we did something I know. before. You know, but I said, nah. We're going to be able to get some special guests in support teams. It's gonna Trust me. Some weeks it's gonna get techy. Some weeks you're gonna be calling me up like, "Yo, Scully, you're available." Hey, I'm gonna be like, "No, nah, sorry, do you know what? It's tight right now." <laughs> 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 no, that's one thing. I don't oh, want no what? one to duck when their team gets pam. No one. You know can what? Duck yeah, them. it's calm. We got better <laughs> Arsenal fans on deck. It's cool. I don't yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's calm. No subs. No subs. I don't want no <laughs> one subbing out, bro. <laughs> I'm standing take my L on my chest. I'll actually For take real. Oh, well, I, bro. Bro, I'm just lucky we ain't talking about Sheffield United right now, bro. Yeah, hey, that like, episode, I would have been fuming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was really angry that episode, but I'll tell you that. Goodness. All right, but then, yeah. cool, man. Where can we find... Tell everyone where we can find you guys anyway, before we go. Go on, Scully. Go find, go, okay, go on, Scully. I, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Why is that moving mad? The bar up, bro. <laughs> You're right, we can mate. Hear you. We can hear you. See you. Oh, oh nice. wait. No, nah, it's on nah, you. Nice, gone. Nah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you're back. You're back. You're back. All right. No, you gone? No, you're there. You're there. You're there. I hit the lane. with Morley's in, 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 in. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Scully's, Scully's connected to BT Open Net. You don't know what i Overreach, overreach, overreach. I've sent phone box outside, fam. <laughs> He's not having it no more. He's not having it no more. Oh, Alex, wait, no, where can we find you? Ah, uh, cool. You can find me, Alex Bass, literally, as it says, as it, you know the technicals, I don't know if you can see my name, but my That's name is Alex Bass, B-A-S-Z, yeah, on all socials, everything. Yeah, shout out. All right. Relic, you as well, your show as well. You can find me at Relic the Don. That's R E double L, two L's. Please don't play with one L. That really jars me. Double L I K T H A D O N. I have a radio show on uh, Represent, and I'm also on No Signal sometimes. My show is uh, Wednesday, Wednesday, five to seven. Oh, I forgot. Tune in. I play wavy music and just hear me chat rubbish. So, yeah, man. Large up Rob for um, making part of this. I'm back inside, man. Are you sure, Charlie's sir? Back. Big up, big up. <laughs> Yeah, what are you telling us? Where can we find anything. you? I'm coming live from Uganda, Kampala. Yeah, this guy's tough. Hey, listen, they can't find me. I'm done. I'm done. They can't Give find them your me. app, bro. <laughs> Where can we find you? <laughs> I'm going to put your app in the bio anyway. <laughs> All right, I'll do it for him. It's is that Scully at is that Scully on Twitter and Instagram, I think. So, is it on Instagram as well? I think it's Instagram. But it is that Scully. Say no more, say no more. Say no less. All right, then, man, them. That's Safe. Uh, In a bit, bro. Big up Relic for getting me free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Love you, man. Love, love, love. Uh, I love.